Alright. Now. We were at Sioux. The Sioux Village, I should say. And. We found a bolt staff. Now. What we have to do is go back out. Uh. And the. The horse told us the shoals to the west of the village. Now, that little dot right in the middle of the sea, that's where you need to go. I hope I can get my uh, highlighting box to work this time. Last time it kind of failed, but... I also feel weird because I was pointing at the screen like you could actually see my finger, too. Uh, King Squid. That's what we fought last time. Running it. Well, this time I actually show. Or did we fight Kraken last? No, Kraken's uh, Kraken's uh, somewhere else. It was King Squid. I just misread the name, but this time I actually show it. See, they got quite a bit of HP. Anyway, uh, all right. Fast forward. Whoops. Too far. Get in the boat and get right into a battle. How lovely. I guess those uh, fish were, or jellyfish were waiting for us to get back on the boat. Uh, also in the Sioux Village, I said something about Greenland. It's the big island that's north of us. Now, there's no real reason to go there yet. There will be eventually, but not for a while. Now, like... The horse said, Shoals in the Sea West. Uh, a little bit south and west of where we are. Uh, fast forward directly to another battle, so it's probably going to be another jump there. Oh! Wow, I ran right into them. Whatever chances. I just guessed about where it would be. Now, use the Thirsty Pitcher. Oh, you have to actually face it? Well, excuse me. That's so stupid that you have to face it. And you see, it dries the sea around it. I mean, you can't really tell because of, you know, the way the graphics are, but... In this shrine... See, it's got water there. Nice little visual effect there. Just sitting right there. The final key. Now we can open any door in the game. Now, before we leave... I'm going to check to see if there's any, like... Yes, there is. There is tiny metal. Or something. South of the Isis Desert. Uh, crap, now where is that thing? Why can't I have my math magic spell? Uh, is it right in front of the throne, maybe? No, well, screw it. Though I really don't want to have to come back because it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Ugh, whatever. You know, I'm just going to cut ahead to whenever I do find it. Okay, I found it. Turns out it was just part of the little uh, soul emblem there. And as soon as you get back in your boat, the sea floods the shrine again. Now, theoretically, you could always just come back for that. But, like I said, we're, you know, we're right in the middle of nowhere, so... I don't know. Now, there's a, believe it or not, there's an item. Oh, uh, new uh, enemy. So fast running battle art works. Um, uh, I think I'm gonna kill that thing first. And uh, oh wait, that's right. I was gonna use the bolt staff on the sea slimes. Yeah, that's Firebane. Uh, for some reason, it might just be me, but when you use an item that casts a spell, for some reason the spell seems to hit them more. And I'm surprised that Merzonikin was d dead that quick. Uh, we'll just Let's see if we can cook that sea slime. Yeah, piece of cake. 
now we just gotta kill this guy. Now I get a feeling we're gonna be getting a level up relatively soon. Now, remember they said something about an echo flute? Well, there, there's a tower over here, east of that town of Moor. I don't know exactly where it's at, but somewhere in this area. Uh, new enemies. Did we run into Blue Beak? Or was that one all this, uh, grinding? Now, there's a rumor surrounding these Blue Beak enemies. Supposedly, they have a really, 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 really low chance of dropping a Zen Scroll. Personally, I've never seen it happen, so I don't think it'll happen at all. Uh, might want to kill that Shaman because I think they can cast Vivify. I will blaze more of a zombie. Plus the shamans cast Rob Magic. Which steals your MP, which you don't want. Well that zombie died really quick. They're, they must be weaker than Horks. Wow, I called. I said, got a feeling someone's going to be leveling up soon. Sure enough. Uh... Oh, little uh, little s secret over here. Oops, dropped our steel whip. Well, darn. Hmm. Uh, no, I didn't drop a stick. Uh, no. Yeah, it was a steel whip. And you get a stick. You have to re-equip the whip. Really? I think, I think it's 40 power. I didn't know it gave it that much. And, yay. Yeah, a stick. It's actually the stick that you can buy at a lion hand for like, what is it, five gold? So yeah. Kind of a little bit of a waste, but... Now where's that stinking tower? Let's... Okay, the zombies poison you, but otherwise, they're not that threatening. Might as well use some antidote herb. And now, we will no longer see Ando herbs in our inventory unless our thief steals one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I was totally in the wrong spot, but I knew it was around here. Oh. Uh, those zombies call for help, and they call Voodoo Man. Voodoo Man is the one that steals uh, your MP, I think. And they cast Vivify. And the shamans cast Heal more, so yeah, you will want to kill the those enemies first. And those... Mm, man, there's adding things left and right to this battle. No, don't attack the zombie. See, they cast Vivify. Alright, kill that zombie so he doesn't call him more Voodoo Man. Kill the Voodoo Man so he doesn't revive anything. Oh, you son of a bitch. Of course you bring back things that put, can put you to sleep. Uh, Vivify also only brings back with half their HP, so they should die a lot quicker the second time around. There. Nothing too threatening. Uh, this tower. It's, uh, pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, just... This one is nowhere near as Labyrinthian. The hardest part of uh, this tower... It's the first set of staircases. Uh, Death Knights, new enemy. Uh, I, I don't remember what they have. They might be able to cast, like, heal or something. So I might kill them first. Oh, they've got, they've got high defense, of course, so. Uh, Cast bang. 
They probably resist fire, too. Yeah, they resist fire. I figured it. Okay, so the blue beaks cast Gale. Nothing too threatening. Oh, they cast Defense. I knew that. But I meant in addition to Defense. Alright. Item. Staff. Try bang again. Okay, fine. No more magic. I get it. Ow. That's hit hard, too, once I cast defense. Oh, come on. Okay. First one's dead. There. Uh... Cast heal on these two. And then heal more on these two. Alright. Now, the reason this is hard, because there's four right side by side. However, depending on what staircase you go up, determines if you'll be able to go a certain way. You won't go up one of the left two. Because the only other staircase is to the left. And then, uh, go up here. And over here. Alright, now there's three treasure chests on this floor. This one is a canna box. No, 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 don't talk to it. You can't talk to a canna box anyway. They don't, I don't think they speak. Yep, that's a canna box. Thought so. Ugh. I don't like these half tile movements. Make line myself up a little bit harder. Tiny metal. Now, like in uh, that Garuna Tower, you know, where we got the Zen Scroll, you're gonna have to jump off these ropes at a specific spot. Uh, that ring will change your personality. Now, where you wanna jump off. A little bit easier this time. Where this, uh, these ropes are tied together. Right there. Four more treasure chests. Echo Flute. Believe it or not, despite what you may think, you don't actually need that. You use it and it'll tell you where an orb is. And you need six orbs to, uh, to complete the game. And the best thing to do, outside, and then return to, uh, all right, let me think here. We have the file key, so we can go to Lancel, uh, or we can go to, actually, um, there's, Final key doors that we can open in other places too. So, what we'll do is first things first, we'll use our warp wings. Uh, I don't think a lion hand has anything that you need a final key for. Romilly does though. It's been a while since we've been here. So, get them in here. Down these stairs. Open this. Assassin Dagger. That's the same exact thing as the Poison Knife, except I think it'll actually miss. And if you look, it's actually more powerful. I mean, this Expel Shield. Um, the Expel Shield? 
as its name implies, lets you use expel with it. Uh, again, I think I'll give that to my thief. Uh, not so much for the equip because the magic shield reduces magic damage. Oh, I know it doesn't. Uh, so never mind. Yeah, I will give it to my thief. Forgot the magic shield doesn't. It's the magical uh, armor that does, but the shield doesn't. Uh, we'll switch for the echo flute. All right. Now that that's done. Uh, let's see. Any other final key doors that lead to treasure? Uh, not that I could think of off the top of my head. But, actually, I do remember one that's nearby. Pathetic battles. You remember, when we came through here, right here. Now, I don't think there's anything, you know, too terribly important here. But, just because it's nearby, we'll see what it does. Hmm. Where did this take us? Oh, it took us here. Yeah, a lot of these shrines are connected like that. Uh, let's see where this one takes us. Actually, I have no idea, so I'm just going to explore. Wait, is this... An N? It's up here. Hey, dude. Oh, yeah. There's, uh, there's that. Yeah, that's part of a really, really tedious part. It's not even that's hard. It's just that... You see, up here, if you try to sail through there, you'll hear a forlorn melody. And you'll get booted back out here. Over to this side. The thing that's annoying, you have to use an item. However, you have to use it in a very specific spot. And I swear it'll take me like 10 times before I even get it. Even though I move like half a step each time. It's it's so picky. It's That's what's tedious. It's not hard, just tedious. Uh, man, the boomerang, make, boomerang makes these, easy, these weak battles absurdly fast. Actually, there's something we can do up there. Um, here's the question, what's the best? Hmm. Probably gonna be, uh, Baharata. Anyway, what we'll do now is start our quest for, uh, the orbs. First things first, go to England again. If you remember, in Tadanki, that prisoner said he wanted to give somebody an orb while he was still alive. Well... Okay, I'll just keep talking since I fast forward into this battle. Uh, <coughs> sorry about that. Anyway... The prisoner wanted to give an orb to somebody while he was still alive. However, there was a guard block in the jail, so we couldn't get in. So... With the final key, we can open any door in the game. So... That means we can go get the orb from him. Oh, just keep going down here. I suppose Portogo would have been a little bit of a closer trip, but I think uh, Edinburgh is slightly more direct. Now, I hope I didn't go. Okay, good, I didn't go past it. Whoops. I hate whenever I do that. All right. Now, we just go into Tadanki. It's probably going to turn daytime before we get there, but that doesn't matter. Wow, we actually got there while it's still nighttime. And like I said, the prisoner wanted to give somebody Nor while he's still alive. And 
Just like that. You get an orb. See, right there. He tells you where to take the orbs. We'll be doing that soon. Well, okay, maybe not soon, soon, but... Okay, let's see. We got that orb. Um, go to Lancel. Get one there. Um... Yeah, let's go to Lancel. And get the one there. First. Stuck up a warp wing so I don't waste my MP using return. Oh wait, this... I don't think this place actually has an item shop. It's got a weapon shop, but not an item shop. Huh. Never mind then. Well, either way, I'll still say at the end, because it's so cheap. I'm a little st still a bit disappointed in my hero's uh, MP pool. It really should be better by this point. But I had a crappy personality to start with. Anyway. I'll buy a few warp wings here. The bag. Okay. Now. Remember that huge shrine? Yeah, we go there now. Have to do it alone. Yes. As he said. Alone. But before we go where he says, you go this way. Small metal. Now, what you're going to want to do make sure you have a multi-attacking weapon, which I have two. Okay. It's probably a good idea you actually, uh, wait to do this. So, uh, because this place is rough. To, uh, say the least. Even though being rough is a huge understatement. But, before we go in, this video will end. So, in the next video, we will take on the next place, alone. See you then.